All right, hi everybody. It's Ball Guy Nine Twenty Two. The Pantone Twelve. I only have this to say: that blonde bimbo bitch. That's all you gotta say. Gotta put it out of the open. Gotta put it out of the open. Um, Don Gun Rampa, people. <sighs> episode Twelve. One more episode after this one. This pretty much cleared the air of everything. Now, I should mention, okay, I did see pre this episode. What I mean by that, okay. There are a certain amount of gameplays of the game of Danganronpa on YouTube. Now, I didn't see everything, though. No. The only part I saw from the game was the beginning of the class trial. What does that mean? I saw the part where they were talking about the photograph that everyone has, that Zetsu Bear gave them, and the video clip that uh, Makoto was going over, and the whole bit with them having amnesia. So that was the only thing that I saw. Everything else was new to me. But I did go on the wiki, and I kind of had a feeling what happened in this episode. Had a feeling. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. But when it was explained, that surprised me. Alright, let's get into this. Episode 11. 12, I mean. This was... Oh, Jesus Christ. This was crazy beyond crazy. Now... We get Mono Bear. He's telling you know everyone, in the beginning that oh you all can go to wherever, wherever you want to go to. Of course, that's a lie. I'll explain that later. That whole lie. He said oh that you unlocked everything. You can do whatever you want. You can go wherever you want. Investigate everything, because this final trial is pretty much going to be it. It's going to be everything. Not only do they have to say who killed Makaru. They have to prove every secret that has been high hidden away in the school, and so on and so forth. So that that with that said, everyone starts investigating. We go to Makoto and Kyoko, and they are go they go to the um, principal's office. They have access to it now because he unlocked all the doors, uh, Mono Bear. Um, and we find the computer, they go to the computer, and she says that she can't access the computer, Kyoko, and Makoto just types in her name, oh, access, and this opens a hidden doorway, and in that doorway is... It's pretty much the principal, and the principal was Kyoko's father. And we find out that there's this box in this hidden room, this gift box, and Makoto opens it. It's her father's bones. I was like, God damn. And this, this was proven because every, she, Mono Bear said, the only people that are alive here are you 16 students. Or 16 students. So on and so forth. And that's the proof right there. What... Makoto finds is the principal's data ID. You know, the ID card, digital ID card? He finds it. So now he's pretty much got his own little to go around and, you know, use. And she's upset. We see this weird side to Kyoko saying about her father and that she wanted to be the one to do him in, supposedly, because she felt that she was a he was a horrible father and everything, which I found very interesting. She, you see her in a different light, and at that point, she she tells Makoto, oh, "I want to be alone," and so on and so forth. And they also find something else. Before this whole thing went, he wants to, she wants to be alone. They found a key. Well, not a key, a, a data card. 
and they go into one of the rooms with the computers and use it. And they see these interviews from the principal and the students who were the 16. And he's asking them, oh, do you want to stay at this school? You know, you, you do you mind staying at this school for the rest of your, your days, for the rest of your life? And everyone said yes. I was like, oh, shit. I saw this already, but just to see it again was just shocking. Because it's different seeing it with the anime than with the game. Not footage. But I was just shocked. And then there was this one part. That, and this is, this was Mono, this is Zetsu Bear again. Fucking Zetsu Bear. Hey, fuck you, Zetsu Bear. I don't like bears now. I don't like you, Zetsu Bear. I don't like you. He basically unplugged the plug to the computer <laughs> power shortage when they were watching a boo and they were about to watch Junko's interview. And that's where it ended there. And he's like saying, oh, power shortage. Oh, and he's dancing. He's get, the, get the fuck out of here, Setsu Bear. You know what I just found out, Setsu Bear? It's hunting season. I be hunting some bears. But, so they get interrupted with that. Um, Kyoko is, you know, she wants to be alone at that some point. And then, you know, uh, Makoto gives him that to her, to her space. Meanwhile, everyone else gets these photographs. And I remember the seeing this part as well. And these photographs show something. That's later on. And he then uses um, Makoto, the, the ID card, the ID um, of the principal, to access these lockers. And he finds something even more shocking. Class notes from... What's his face? I forgot his name. Class notes from Yasuhiro. Yasuhiro. That's, you know, the guy with the wavy hair. And a notebook from Kyoko detailing, you know, how to escape and so on and so forth. And then at the end, she wrote, there are two despairs. So even more craziness with this involvement, with, with this, this evidence here. And we have that. Then we have a scene with um, Makoto going into like what is known, I think it's the morgue. Where they keep all the bodies that were killed. Um, students. And he bumps into Fukawa. And Fukawa just transformed into Geno Cider. And she's like laughing at him. Saying, oh, I gotta go buy off you, Osama. And she pushes. Before she pushes this one body back into the closed thing. She says it was speared. And I was like. Something's up here. So it puts it back in. Pretty much this then sing singles. Um, and then he notices something else, Makoto. There are nine bodies there. There's supposed to be more than nine bodies. There's supposed to be ten. Cur curiosity ensues. So they go back. They go to the court case for the trial. Final class trial. This is the big one. And in this one, it's apparently... Zetsu Bear's going to be the one participating. Um, and pretty much, I already knew, I already knew what happens here. Um, Makoto, he unveils to everyone, solving everything, solving part of everything, that we all have amnesia. Pretty much. From the you know, the, the video of, of their interview with the principal, to the photographs, that this all happened, this is all real, it's just we don't remember it, because we all have amnesia, and that he took, Zetsu Bear took their memories from them, their own memories, it's like crazy. And he put up all these, all these facts, you know, Makoto, and then Zetsu Bear's reminding him, well, this is about the murder, and... 
they tell Kirigiri, you know, Kyoko to take off her glove, and she shows a scar, she, these ugly scars that you don't really see it. You only see part of it. Which I think is burn marks. I don't really see what it really looked like, but it looked like burn marks. And she's cleared from her suspicions. And Makoto lives it on to him. And saying to Zetsu Bear, if Zetsu Bear said this one thing, he said, Zadadu. I, I was cracking up when he said that. Zadadu. I was like, what? Zadadu? What are you talking about, man? But and all the hop happening was he figured out uh, Makoto is that Junko is the one behind it. And what we find out is that Junko and her other sister, Kuro, the one who died, are twins. And she was essentially the mastermind. Now, see, this could have really surprised me if I didn't look on the wiki, but I did. But I will say this. This bitch needs to die. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, no. No, she doesn't... She doesn't get anything. No. Junko. She doesn't get anything. She doesn't get a D. No. You don't get anything. You're getting a one-way trip into a body bag. Yeah. I'm calling it right now. She will die. One way or the other. This bitch needs to die. This dumb, blonde bimbo needs to die. Come on. I'll, I'll be there with the axe. Come on. Time to execute this bitch. <laughs> Off with her head. Uh, but, yeah. So this is pretty much the story. Um, she's the mastermind. It should be noted that the thing that surprised me more was that uh, they were twins. Almost identical. Her and her sister. And... Honestly, like I said, if I didn't ever look at the wiki of Dongarampa Wiki, then I'd probably be more surprised. Yeah. So I'm giving this a 5 out of 5, no questions asked. Yeah. Um, Of course, we have to wait and see where this leads to. This could lead to so many different things next week. God damn, like what, what now, you know? Um... I mean, I'm guessing now they, I guess they have to, I don't know what else they have to uncover. They uncovered the mastermind. Uh, where you go from there? Probably they'll, they already, since they already covered the mastermind, they have to uncover who killed her. But I'm pretty sure it was her, it was Junko who did it. Yeah, it was probably her. So, though I'm not sure, we have to wait and see. But this is going to end oh, crazy. I was letting everyone know. This is going to end so crazy, this anime. I have a feeling. It's going to end so ridiculous. But, go to episode 5 out of 5, no questions asked. Junko, you dumb blonde bitch. I'm getting an axe or a knife. I'm going to stick it in your neck. And twist it until your head falls off. Yeah. I went there. Who gives a shit? This bitch needs to die. You need to die. You need to die. That's all I have to say. Because, you know, Kyoko's where it's at. Junko is a skank. Yeah, she's a skank slut. And I'm going to take her hair to pig pigtails and shove her head in a compactor. <laughs> That's what I have to say. But yeah, that was a good episode. Can't wait till the final episode, man. Wow. Final episode. This is going to be huge. Um, Can't wait to see it. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you guys think how this anime has been going. What do you think is going to happen? Send me your theories, you know. Send me your theories. I want to hear them. But yeah, that's the story. I'm Bonkai922. I'll see you guys later. 5 out of 5. Junko. This is going to be called...
The blonde bitch needs to die. That's what I'm going to say. Okay? Bonkai 922. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.